So one of the questions I get asked probably on a daily basis from one of you guys is, Willie, what are some tips and tricks that you could give me that will help speed up the process? Make me a better mycologist or mushroom cultivator. When you first start out, you're watching everybody's videos, you're reading every piece of information you could possibly get, and you'll realize that that stuff is just all over the place. You know, everybody has a different method to their madness, you know. Everybody does it a different way. There's really not just a, a set way to do things and that's the one and only way. There's so many ways to get to the same results. And when I first started out, I wish somebody would have gave me tips and tricks that really would have helped me out because it would have saved me so much time, headache, stress, and of course, loss of grows. You know, I've lost so many grows when I first started out trying to figure out what's the proper way to do things. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys five tips and tricks that will help you out be a better mycologist and mushroom cultivator. Let's go. Dripping on acid in the hotel lobby. Everything moving hella fast, Ricky Bobby. Floating in the ethers. Listen to the ethers, you can probably tell the future. Superhuman man. What's going on, Chip Team? First of all, I want to welcome you guys back to a brand new video. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome to the Trip Team family. TTF, that's what it's about. If you enjoyed this video, it helped you out, you want to see more videos like this, just go down below, smash that subscribe button and the bell off to the side, so that way you guys know when I drop a new video. All my social media is right here, new Instagram right there, TTF underscore Willie, and of course the Patreon where the secret, you know, hidden library is, where you guys could get amazing videos, you know, the really good stuff. With that said, I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Let's jump into this video. So we're going to be talking about five tips and tricks tricks that are going to help you guys out. It's going to save you guys a lot of time. Now, I probably got 100, 200 different tips and tricks to share with you guys, but we'll do them in segments of five. I'll drop a video like this every once in a while, and it's really going to help you guys out, especially when you're first starting out, because when you guys are first starting out, let's just say if you're not in the right community, it might be really difficult to get these tips and tricks out of people. So I'm going to share a few of those tips and tricks with you guys because they're going to help you out immensely. So let's jump right into it. Tip number five. When you guys start working in a sterile environment, you guys are going to have a flow hood. Now, just because you have a flow hood doesn't mean all your problems of contamination go away. There's a proper method to using a flow hood and working in front of one. So when you guys are working in front of a flow hood, you always want to work center mass of the filter. So you guys want to work directly in the center of the filter. That's going to be the cleanest area to possibly work in. So when you guys watch a video of me working in front of a flow hood or somebody else, you guys will usually see that they're using some type of rack to elevate their workstation. So they're working directly in front of the flow hood. As you move left, right, up, or down, it's going to get less sterile the further you get away from the center. The center is always going to be the cleanest area to work from. So make sure you guys work center mass on your flow hood. Tip number four, selecting your community. So when you guys first start out, there's so many different educators out there, you know, people that teach you how to do this and, you know, get into mycology and teach you texts and things like that. But the most important thing is sticking with one community, one educator. And there's a reason for that. When you guys are first starting out, if you're trying to combine the way this person's doing it and this person's doing it and putting it together into one new method of doing things, you're probably going to fail. Things are set up a certain way for a certain reason. So if you see somebody build a monotub, don't try to create this Frankenstein monotub that's, you know, three different, you know, educators all put together in one monotub because it's probably not going to work out. Another thing to look for when you're looking for somebody to teach you or an educator is also to look for the community that's behind them. Us, we got the Trip Team family. We're probably the biggest psychedelic community out there and we have the most amazing positive community out there. They're always willing to help. They want to help you. They want to walk through things with you. They want updates. They're very hands-on. We, we honestly have the best community out there. We have a private chat room with our community. Just go check out my Patreon if you guys want to get into that. But there is a ton of really good communities out there. One of those communities is Philly Golden Teacher. 
Now, we were supposed to do this video together, but just scheduling and things like that didn't work out. But he has a great community. He's a great educator, especially for people just getting into mycology. He's really, really good. So if you guys want to go check him out, I'll leave a link down below to his YouTube channel. Shout out PGT. But the most important thing is just finding a community that makes you feel good and that makes you want to learn. When I first started out, there was nothing like this. There was no other communities like this. We had online message boards, but I will tell you right now, they were probably some of the most negative, horrible places you could possibly be in as a new cultivator. If you was experienced, you knew what you was doing, you got nothing but love. If you was a new person coming in there asking for advice, asking a very simple question, they would completely chew you out and be horrible to you. Now, I would look at it like if I was a new cultivator coming into this and I asked somebody for help that knew what they were doing and I just needed a little bit of one-on-one -on -one help and they talked horrible to me, I would say, F this, I don't wanna be a part of this community, that's not what I'm about, and I would get out of there. It would really, you know, deter me from wanting to get deeper into mycology if I was greeted that way. And that's why I started the Trip Team family and started creating these videos is so that it's an all-inclusive community. It doesn't matter what color you are, what sex you are, what religious beliefs you have, none of that. We all have the passion and love for mycology and mushroom cultivation and that's where we all come together. Everything else is irrelevant. Tip number three. When you guys are first starting out, start out small, baby steps. I can't stress this enough. So when you guys start out, you want to start out very, very small. Don't just jump into big boat grows, you know, monotubs, Martha tents, things like that. Start out very small. What you learn when you first start out, say with like a PF tech, which is brown rice flour cakes, is going to carry all the way through your mycology endeavors, right? So you're going to learn so much from that one little grow that's going to come back and help you over and over as you grow. So make sure you guys start out small. The best part about starting out small is it's a very low investment. You guys ain't investing a lot of money and you guys are gonna get something for all your hard work and you're gonna learn a ton of stuff in the process. That's absolutely priceless. This is honestly one of the biggest tips I could give you guys is to start out small and then work your way up from there. Tip number two. When you guys start out cultivating and stuff like that, you're gonna be very, very unsure of yourself. You're not gonna be sure if you're doing things the right way or if there's some type of issue going on with the grow. Many different colors will come up. Just to name a few that aren't problematic, metabolites and bruising. A lot of new cultivators can't tell the difference between bruising and contamination or metabolites and a bacterial contamination. So when you guys are first starting out, Learn the Q-tip test. The Q-tip test is probably the easiest test you could do to put your mind at ease. So when you guys think you have some type of mold, just take a Q-tip, roll it slowly and softly across the discoloration. If it transfers to the cotton, it's a mold. If it doesn't transfer to the cotton, it's not a mold. Only mold will transfer to the cotton on the Q-tip. If it's bruising, it's internal on the mycelium and it's not gonna transfer over to the cotton. This is one of the easiest tricks that you guys could do to figure out if you have a contamination or you don't. Tip number one. When you guys do start getting into bulk, you start sterilizing your own grains, you're gonna have to invest in a pressure cooker. One of the most important things that's gonna save you time, money, all that stuff is investing in a proper pressure cooker. I can't stress this enough. At least two to three times a week, I have somebody reach out to me and they say, my grains keep getting contaminated. The first question I ask them is, do you have a Presto pressure cooker? 99.9% .9 of the time, they say yes. Presto pressure cookers were not meant to sterilize grains so they're very unreliable. They're just not built well. As soon as they go and they get a better pressure cooker, that problem goes away. The problem is you need to sterilize consistently at 15 PSI for 90 minutes. The issue with Presto pressure cookers is the rubber gasket always fails. So sometimes they're PCing at 15 PSI and sometimes they're PCing at 11 or 12 PSI because you have some pressure that's escaping 
through the gasket. So definitely invest into a well-built pressure cooker. Now it doesn't need to be an All-American, even though that's the standard of mycology. All-American is a great pressure cooker. It's a metal to metal pressure cooker. There's no gaskets, you know, it's very, very reliable and it will last you a lifetime. It will never fail on you. But they are a decent investment, you know, three to 400 bucks just to get into it. So if you guys want some decent, you know, cheaper pressure cookers, look into the Mero pressure cookers. I've had a Mero pressure cooker that I use for different things, uh, you know, along with my All-Americans, and it's never failed on me. I could still pressure cook grains in it to today, and it will do it with no problem, and they're very, very cheap. You could get a 22 or a 23 quart pressure cooker for about 60 to $70, and they're pretty well built. Now it's not an all American, but it's definitely better than a Presto in my opinion. Now, some people will stand behind Presto. They love them. And I know even Philly Golden Teacher, we had a discussion about this. He has a Presto, he loves it. And I've just seen too many failures when it comes to Presto pressure cookers. And once they switch over, that problem ceases to exist. You know, grains are expensive. You know, your time is more valuable than anything. So to pressure cook all them grains and to put all that time into it, inoculate them, and then they get contaminated because they weren't sterilized properly because of the pressure cooker, really sucks. It's a loss of money, it's a loss of time. So definitely the better investment is just to invest in a better pressure cooker right off the rip. And there you go guys, that's five tips that I wanna share with you guys that's gonna help you just get around things a lot faster. It's gonna speed up your learning curve and it's gonna help you from falling into these little pitfalls that we run into in mycology and mushroom cultivation. Now, like I said, these five tips and tricks aren't in any specific order but they are tips and tricks that I definitely suggest you implementing, especially when you first start out. Now, I have a ton of other tips and tricks that will help you guys out. And like I said, we'll release new videos all the time with different tips and tricks. And I'm even trying to do a collaboration with PGT, like I said. So hopefully that comes through and we can make that happen. But with that said, I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. Remember, I have a huge giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. There's gonna be impulse sailors, microscopes, a ton of stuff inside these mystery boxes. So if you guys wanna get in on that, Go check out my Instagram because at 5K, we're going to be picking the first winner. There's going to be two winners, but we're going to pick the first one at 5K. So make sure you guys get in on that. I'm Willie Michael. Do good, be good, live good. Namaste.